This is an unboxing of the Sophie and Toffee Galaxy Cats Resin Craft Kit. I've never done an unboxing video before, but when I was considering buying this kit, I couldn't find one, so I figured I would make one. This is the actual box it ships in, the address label and uh, everything is on the bottom. I have cut the tape already. We have this little welcome card. And it all comes in a resealable bag that the items can either be stored in or can be reused for something else. We like resealable bags in this household. So let's open the bag and see what's inside. <laughs> Very strong seal there. We have lots of little things here. We have a set of what appear to be mixing cups for the UV resin. I've never actually worked with resin before. UV resin has a much, much shorter curing time and doesn't require um, uh, an area that's as well ventilated as epoxy resin requires. I live in a very small apartment, so this is important. I also live above a four lane road, which you might be able to hear on this video. Just try to ignore that as best as you can. Some drivers are very angry. So we have our mixing cups, it looks like. We have <gasps> glitter. Yay. Let's see if I can get this open. to find the edge there. My fingers don't want to find the edge to open it. There we go. Let me put that aside. Look at that. That pretty, pretty... Looks like it might be iridescent glitter. Lovely. I'm not going to open this because it's going to make a mess, but there's no tape holding it closed, which is probably why it's in that little bag. But I know sometimes that tape leaves a residue behind, or if you cut it, the glitter sticks to it. So I actually really prefer this packing method. And then we have, let's give myself another challenge with another tiny little bag. Oh, what's that? There's a tiny little piece. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's anything, actually. I'm just going to drop that in the box. I'm going to challenge myself with another tiny little bag. Oh, this one goes much better. And let's see. What is this? This is... This looks like a dark powder. There is no list of uh, contents. At least not that I have seen so far. So this looks like maybe this is a, a pigment for the resin? I don't know. It's a mystery. And then we have oh, our bezels and our mold. Let's open this bag. Also a resealable bag. Hooray. We have our tiny little silicone mold for a little kitty. A little hang in there kitty. I have the feeling I might be using that a lot. Pillow hoop right there. You can put that on a keychain or a necklace or a zipper pull. Zipper pull, not a zipper pool. You know, when you're from Kansas, sometimes things just sound weird. Let's see, let's look at the bezels here. I seem to have gotten some glittery stuff on my fingernails, so there is a little bit of leakage from those containers. It's fine, it happens. Oh no. There we go. Okay. We have this bezel. Put these here. Let's see if I can get this to 
focus. There we go. I think it's backward. Nope. Okay, so we got a little kitty cat here. That is cute. And then we have this bezel. So we can make that focus. There we go. It's a little tail. And this bezel, which seems to be the same as the uh, the silicone, yeah, silicone mold we got. You know what? Humans aren't perfect. It is going to be what it is. We have this one, which looks like it would make an adorable necklace or keychain. And then we have these which match and you could either do individual things or you can make a pair of earrings. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Maybe I'll make a video of that. Maybe I won't. We'll see. And next is oh, gloves. A pair of gloves. Just kind of, they're kind of thin. They're plastic. I don't think they're latex or vinyl. But, you know, there's something. And that is appreciated. There's probably another one down in the bag somewhere. I can't find it. We have a little cord. I'm not sure what this is for yet. Because it's much too small for a necklace. So I will figure that out. I shouldn't put that back in there so I don't lose it on my black cloth. We have a set of pigment dye. Let's open this bag. We have Iridescent pigment dye. Uh, we love that iridescence, don't we? Well, I do, anyway. And then we have... Wait, oh, I see these are different colors. So this also says, oh, this is green. Let's pull back up the other one. That one is... Red. Oh, I'm really thrilled that I think all of these are going to be iridescent dyes. I don't remember what it said on the website, so I'm flying a little blind today. Purple iridescent uh, pigment dye. Gold iridescent pigment dye. And blue iridescent pigment dye. And these, they're definitely liquid, not powder. I still don't know. The black powder does have a little bit of iridescence to it, too. I'm still not sure what we're supposed to use it for. We have pipettes. I think I know what these are for, <laughs> but I'm not going to take a guess on video because, again, I'm brand new to resin crafting. And we have two bottles of clear UV resin, thin type. Each bottle is 25 grams, little squeeze tips. So I have 50 grams of the UV resin. Oh, there's the other glove. And we have another one of these little cords. No, wait, those are tweezers. Well, let's show you these. These are little tweezers. They don't have a lot of resistance here, so I think maybe I might use my own tweezers. But it's nice that they provide them. I do appreciate that. Okay, well, let's see if I can get to that little piece I was trying to get to earlier. Yes, this is a silver version of the... 
Oh, it won't focus. Come on, camera. There we go. A silver version of that black piece. I'll figure it out. Nerdy Crafter fans, insert the Figure It Out song here. Oh no, this has tape on it. We're going to put that aside for the last because I know what that is. This is tape for the back of the bezels so the resin doesn't leak out when you're using it. I know this. Um, I've watched, I watched a lot of craft videos, a lot of resin crafting videos. These are individual sheets. I'm guessing you pull it off this. It's not a roll. We're just going to set that aside for right now. What else do we have in here? We have... Oh! We have a bag of jump rings and other items. Let's open this. See what's inside. You know, I have a whole new appreciation for YouTubers right now. Because doing things while you're looking through a camera is not as easy as one might think it is. Okay, so we have like a, for a cell phone, like a cell phone charm. I'm just going to drop that in the box there. And we have another one. That one was white. This one seems to be silver. Do I have a fancy setup? No, because remember, this is my first unboxing video. So yes, we are using natural light today. Uh, this is a gold cell phone charm or a the other one had a peg for a cell phone. This has a lobster claw clasp, so you could probably also use it for a zipper pull or something. We have a bag of jump rings, gold jump rings. And we have, see how the cell phone, oh no, the cell phone charms, they have the little peg. So the other ones have lobster claws. They're for different things. This, I dropped that. This is, oh, uh, hooks for earrings. Not sure what metal these are made out of. I know some people are allergic to metal. So I'm not sure um, if these are hypoallergenic. Al hypoallergenic. There we go. If that wasn't quite right, it's close enough, y'all. Tiny jump rings. I'm not sure what these are called, but I do know you screw them into the top of resin pieces to create a sort of uh, a, a loop at the top so you can hook things like lobster claws and uh, jump rings and things like that to them. We have what this oh this is probably to make a necklace I might take that out of the bag in a little bit we have I'm not sure if this is for this looks like it's a charm because it has a hoop on the top it's a little spoon maybe it fell out of another bag I'm not sure and then we have this little bag of random little charms. I'm going to turn the camera off and open that off camera and I will be right with you. Okay, so now vid video magic allows me to show you that that little bag had all of these um, celestial themed, um, they're not charms, I'm not sure what you would call these. I'm sure they have a name, but I don't know what that is. Hmm, let's just call them charms for now. Okay, I'm going to lay those down there, and I'm going to show you. This is what was in the other bag. I am still not entirely sure what this is, so if you know, please tell me. Leave the answer in the comments below and I will be forever grateful to you. Also, my partner 
opened that box for me and I knew what was going to be inside. It's all nicely bubble wrapped. And this is the UV lamp. Oh, look at that. Now, it does not have batteries inside. I knew it wouldn't. It looks like there's a push button. So I am going to go see if I can dig up Oh, there's one more thing left in there. Uh, at the end of this video, I will see if I can dig up some batteries for this. I'll see what kind it takes, and I'll see if I can show you how bright it is. But there's one more thing left in the bag. And again, I'm probably going to get the name for these wrong. Oh, come on. I think these are little, little charms, but again, I tend when I think of a charm, I tend to think of something with a, a loop in it that hangs from something. And these, you just kind of place them like rhinestones or sequins. So, it would be nice if they had a, um, oh, there are three little containers in here. It would be nice if they contained a list of contents. I think they do do that for their monthly subscription boxes. These are little gold hearts. I think they're gold. Looks like in this light. That say love on them. And these are. Come on. Oh, these are tiny, tiny little stars. A kind of an assortment of little stars. And the last container. I really like these little containers. This last container has little moons with little stars attached. Let me see if I can get a closer look here. They do all appear to be gold. I wanted to get a true look, not through the camera. They do all appear to be gold. So now I'm going to see if I can find the batteries for the lamp here and show you what kind of strength it has. If it will show up in this, in daylight at least. Well folks, we hit a snag. This requires AAA batteries. Come on, focus, there we go. So this goes inside of this, and it has this to close it with a little push button here on the end. However, my household, my household is currently out of AAA batteries. So I won't be able to show you what the light works, what it looks like, or how it works, but I have seen other YouTubers use lights from Sophie and Toffee. <laughs> would help if I turn that the right way. Um, and they do seem to be pretty strong. The reason I ordered from Sophie and Toffee... Can I do two things at once? Can I talk and do this? Apparently not. <laughs> I've seen other YouTubers use Sophie and Toffee products. Um, specifically Nerdy Crafter. Oh, I think I just knocked my camera there. Well, you know. Again, human. Um, and they do seem to offer a quality product, so that is why I decided to order from them. Um, so I have some confidence in how this is going to go. Um, maybe I'll record some of my attempts at using the kit. Maybe not the first one. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'll show you how um, easy it is for a first-time resin user. We'll see. Um, but again, this is the Sophie and Toffee Galaxy Cats Resin Kit, and this is everything you get in the box. And you also, um, there's some ways to earn some credits and to save some money. If you sign up for their newsletter, I think it is you save 10%. I did that for my order. So, yeah. That's that's it. I hope this video was helpful. And uh, let me know if you have any comments, tips, or suggestions. Just leave them in the comments below.